Have you ever looked at the Amazon rainforest and seen an untouched wilderness? A pristine world shaped only by nature? For centuries, that's what we were told. A green desert, too hostile for complex civilizations to thrive. But what if I told you that this perception is one of the greatest illusions in history? What if, hidden within the very DNA of its people and the enriched soil under its colossal trees, lies the story of a lost world? A world of sprawling cities, monumental earthworks, and millions of inhabitants who didn't just live in the Amazon, they created it. Prepare to have your understanding of history completely rewritten. We are about to unlock the genetic code of the Amazon and reveal the epic, forgotten saga of its first peoples. This is a story that science is just beginning to read, a narrative written in the double helix, telling us a history that was almost lost to time forever, the myth of the pristine wilderness. For much of modern history, the Amazon was seen as a counterfeit paradise. Early European explorers, venturing into its depths in the 18th and 19th centuries, found only small, scattered tribes. They concluded that the jungle was simply too poor in resources, its soils too infertile to support large, settled populations. This idea of an empty, virgin forest became dogma. But there were whispers of something more, something older. Accounts from the very first Spanish conquistadors like Francisco Brillana in the 16th century spoke of massive cities that gleamed white, advanced civilizations, and roads that cut through the jungle. These accounts were dismissed as fantasy, the fever dreams of men lost in an alien world. The jungle, it was believed, had swallowed any evidence. But the evidence wasn't gone. It was just waiting for the right tools to be discovered, and the most powerful tool we have is smaller than a grain of sand. Ancient DNA. Cracking the genetic code. Deep in climate-controlled laboratories, a revolution is underway. Scientists are extracting and sequencing ancient DNA from human remains found in the Amazon, some thousands of years old. Each fragment is a time capsule, a message from the past, and what these messages are telling us is staggering. The genetic story doesn't begin with one single group of people. Instead, it reveals a complex tapestry of migrations. The first wave of humans arrived in South America around 13,000 years ago, and they didn't just stick to the coasts or the Andes. Genetic markers show they plunged deep into the heart of the Amazon basin surprisingly early. But they weren't all the same. A groundbreaking study published in the journal Science revealed at least four distinct waves of migration into the Amazon. Some groups arrived with genetic links to Australasians, a ghost population whose journey halfway across the world remains one of humanity's greatest mysteries. These early Amazonians were not isolated. Their DNA shows a surprising amount of interaction and admixture. We see genetic ties between populations in the deep Amazon and those in the high Andes, suggesting vast trade and communication networks that spanned thousands of kilometers, crossing seemingly impenetrable landscapes. They weren't just surviving in the jungle. They were connected, they were dynamic, and they were building a world. So, if millions of people lived there, where are the cities? The answer lies in the Earth itself. Using LiDAR technology, laser pulses that can see through the dense forest canopy, archaeologists had uncovered a breathtaking lost world. In regions like the Llanos de Mojos in Bolivia, they found the remains of the Kasarb culture. These weren't small villages. They were urban centers with 22-meter-high conical pyramids, vast networks of canals and reservoirs for water management, and raised causeways that stretched for miles. This was a civilization that thrived for over a thousand years, from 400 AD to 1400 AD. But their ingenuity went deeper. How did they feed millions on famously poor Amazonian soil? They invented their own. It's called Terra Preta de Indio, Amazonian Dark Earth. By systematically incorporating charcoal, pottery shards, and organic waste into the ground, 
these ancient people transformed the infertile soil into incredibly rich, self-sustaining black earth. These fertile patches are still used by farmers today. It wasn't simple farming. It was large-scale landscape engineering. They didn't just live in the forest. They managed it. Genetic analysis of modern plants like the cacao tree, the source of chocolate, shows that its diversity is highest in areas of ancient human settlement. This is no coincidence. Ancient Amazonians cultivated and spread useful plants, creating vast forest orchards. The wild jungle we see today, in many ways, is the overgrown garden of a lost civilization, a story of adaptation and extinction. Life in the Amazon was not static. The genetic record tells a story of constant adaptation. By comparing ancient DNA with that of modern indigenous groups, scientists can pinpoint specific genes that were selected for over millennia. These include genes related to the immune system, providing resistance to local pathogens, and metabolic genes allowing them to thrive on unique Amazonian diets. This is evolution in action, a biological testament to their resilience. But the DNA also tells the story of loss. Around the time of the first human arrivals, the Amazon was home to giant ground sloths, massive armadillo-like glyptodons, and other megafauna. The extinction of these giants, likely accelerated by human hunting, had a profound impact that we are only now understanding. Many of the largest trees in the Amazon depended on these giant animals to eat their fruits and disperse their seeds. With the megafauna gone, the forests began to change. Some tree populations withered, altering the very structure of the ecosystem. The story of the people and the story of the forest are inextricably linked. The disappearance of the megafauna was the first great extinction event they witnessed, but it would not be the last. When Europeans arrived, they brought diseases for which the indigenous peoples had no genetic defense. Smallpox and influenza swept through the interconnected societies, causing a demographic collapse of up to 95%. The great cities were abandoned, the causeways fell silent, and the jungle grew back, hiding the evidence and creating the myth of the empty wilderness. So, we return to our initial image, the Amazon rainforest. It's no longer an empty canvas. It's a masterpiece of human history painted over millennia. The story, once thought lost, is being rediscovered through the powerful lens of genetics and archaeology. We've learned that the Amazon was home to diverse and numerous peoples who arrived in successive waves, carrying with them a complex genetic heritage. We've seen that they didn't just cower in the jungle. They engineered it, building cities, creating super soils, and cultivating the forest into a massive life-sustaining garden. Their DNA tells a story of brilliant adaptation and resilience, but it also tells a story of loss. The lost history of the Amazon is not just a fascinating tale of the past. It holds urgent lessons for our future. It proves that large populations can live in and with the rainforest in a sustainable way. The wisdom of the terra preta and forest management holds keys to modern agriculture and conservation. The resilience of its people in the face of climate shifts and ecological change is a testament to the human spirit. The next time you see the Amazon, remember the ghosts in the greenery. Remember the architects of the earth, the gardeners of the forest, and the story that is written in their very genes, waiting for us to listen. What other lost histories are hidden across our planet, just waiting to be decoded? The story of our planet and our species is constantly being updated. If you want to be at the forefront of these incredible discoveries, make sure to subscribe to Sci Discovery Chronicles and ring that bell for notifications. What part of this lost history amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, keep exploring.